Okay, on-ball screen defense. Well, first, let's talk a little bit about on-ball screen it is, pick and roll. Um, this year it was a clinic in Spain. Uh, one ACB team prepared a clinic, prepared a clinic uh, with the idea was bring assistance from the ACB teams uh, to show how their head coaches work and how to prepare the week, different kind of clinic. Let's say from a point of view, more of an assistant. And one of my assistants went to the clinic. And when I asked him, I said, how was the clinic and all that, blah, 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 blah. You were there with a lot of coaches. Okay, he told me typical stories. Okay, this, this, say this about his players, blah, 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 blah. But when we spoke about basketball, and we start saying, okay, Barcelona has a lot of plays, that's what they said, blah, blah, they were talking about. And he said, Pablo, you know what it really surprised me about your team? That's what people used to say about my team, who my assistant told me, is that we are a team that we don't play a lot of pick and roll. We don't play a lot of pick and roll. And we looked at each other, we said like, we think, we think we play too much pick and roll. And the other teams have the feeling that we don't play a lot of pick and roll. What, what I mean with this, we're getting on a kind of basketball where sometimes we forget about other things and teams just play pick and roll. And this is something I, I fight against. Of course, my team plays pick and roll, like all the teams almost in the world now. But we're getting in a basketball where some teams, they only play pick and roll. And pick and roll for me is part of basketball as an important, and it can be transition defense, uh, rebounding, baseline exits, whatever thing you play in basketball. But it's true that we're losing, for me, we're losing things just because we're worried about pick and roll. Okay, so as coaches, normal, what we do, we have to stop the pick and roll, somehow. We all believe that if we stop Spanulis on the pick and roll, we're going to be okay. If we stop Dragic on the pick and roll, we're going to be okay. But for me, more important, when you take a look at one team, is what is the objective of the pick and rolling offense? There is different things that you want to get out of the pick and roll offensively. Let's say you want to score. The easy thing. Okay, you have a player, very good player, who wants to use the pick and roll to create an advantage against his defender, and then he will be ready to score. want to create a mismatch. Why not? You play a pick and roll, defense switch or whatever, you have a mismatch. Maybe big, a small guy against big guy or maybe big guy inside against a small guy. Maybe you just only want to entrance the offense. Typical horns. How many times we see the horns and, and, and the horns... Okay, we see our point guards going like, Horns, okay, boom, 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 okay. Nothing happens. They just want to start the offense. And after that entrance, try to create spacing or create advantages. For us, as a defensive um, strategy or philosophy, we have to recognize that. Immediately who wants to play the pick and roll, and what players are able to do something with that pick and roll. And of course, after that, have your philosophy, or how do you want to stop the pick and roll? 
This is not easy. I don't want to finish practice like yesterday with Mamuti when he finished saying, okay, I go man to man. No. Of course, I'm going to talk only about I'm going to, the, the things that I'm going to show today is going to be different ways of defending the pick and roll. I'm going to talk only about the four guys involved on the pick and roll. Guy with the ball, screener, defender of the ball, and um, defender of the screener. Why? Because if we start putting more people in the, in, in the offense, then you can stop the pick and roll. Very easy. You want to stop the pick and roll, three guys go and defend the pick and roll. Okay, but somebody else will happen in offense. So that's why I, I'm going to focus on the different ways where you, how, or how do, do you want to stop that pick and roll offense. Okay? Also, it's very important as a coach, make a decision. You have to make a decision with your pick and roll offense. When you watch games, what it really, for me, for how really important is when you recognize a game, you watch a game, how they defend the pick and roll is, okay, what is their philosophy with the pick and roll defense? Okay, if you have baggage, Burusis, Tomic, big guys who are going to... You cannot maybe double team with them. This is very easy and to understand. I'm not creating something that we don't, don't know. But if you have quick, big guys, maybe you can be aggressive to the ball. And this is not easy to combine because they are, our players, they are not the same. So, on your strategy, you have to think what kind of players do you have to use your strategy defensively and adjust that as quick as possible at the, def at the offense that wants to create something out of the pick and roll. That way you can combine your decision Let's say I want to edge. I want to go hard and stop the pick and roll and attack the pick and roll. Why not? If you attack the pick and roll, if you're aggressive, the guy with the ball is going to be dead. But maybe you're leaving somebody else open. So your strategy, it has to be combined of reading and a lot of times reading during the game how the other team is attacking the pick and roll. Because for me, offense, it's always going to try, or it's always going to have the decision. When defense, for me, is very good, when it takes out the decision of the offense, that's good defense. Okay? Well, I'm going to show eight, I'm going to talk about eight different ways of defend the pick and roll. And I'm going to try to go one by one, explaining a little bit the technique, what do we want, what are we going to give, what do we want to stop, and then you can use all eight of them on one game. I would never do this. Your players are not going to get information. Too much information. I showed eight times, but I don't believe in, in these eight things that, I'm, that I have here. Because then you drive your, your players crazy. You have to have one, two, maybe three. But if you try to play your players to probably do in the game eight different ways of defending the pick and roll, at the end, they're not going to defend it. And no one, no one thing, they're going to defend it right. So how important is the difference between, let's say, a clinic like today, 
or put that theory, let's say, on our teams. Okay, for me, first one, first way of defend the pick and roll. I'm going to do it on a short here so you can see it. For me, first one and most important is edge to the ball. Be aggressive to the ball. Almost double team. What do we want with this? Of course, we want to stop the guy with the ball. He is the man. He is Spanulis, Dragic. We don't want the ball on his hands. We want to attack him. Okay? We break the play with this. They have to find another solution. If you are able to stop him, then play a pick and roll. We'll talk about the technique. You dribble, you want to score. You're a very good player. You double, double, okay, and you go after him. Somehow, we stop this play. He's not going to play. I'm not saying we stop it. we're stopping the offense because he's going to pass it and they will have something else. But right now, we're cutting him. We're cutting the play because we're cutting the guy with the ball. Okay? So how important is that we do this correctly? Okay, perfect. So, name? I don't remember. Gregor. Okay. So Gregor wants to play the pick and roll. And we want to edge. We want to edge and double. We want to make sure that Gregor is the man. And we want to stop Gregor. Okay, so first thing, name, son, more or less. Okay, in Spanish, son. Okay, son. So, son, you're at the ball. You're defending Gregor. Okay, one on one position. Pick and roll comes. Okay, good. This is good, but this is not real. Because usually coaches are very smart. I they don't want that pick and roll come so slowly. They want to go hard. So you're going to be a little bit late. Okay? So what is the first thing that we tell the guy that is defending the ball? Okay. You want to double, so you want to send him to the pick and roll. Okay? Okay? Good. Let's do this. You start from here. Gregor, I will pass you, and then you play pick and roll. Okay? And you double. Okay? Ready? Go. Good. Good. Again. One more time. Gregor, I know it's early in the morning, but try to, try to score. Okay? Pass me. Okay? Ready? Go. Good. Good. Very good. Bravo, Gregor. One more time. Ah, Gregor is smart. One more time. Go ahead. Heart on him. Stop. Gregor is open. You two have to stop Gregor, no? Go hard. It's early in the morning for him, but he scored. It's early in the morning for you. You can stop him. You're two against one. Okay? Go ahead. Again. Good. Okay. One more time. He, is he is scored again. If he wanted to. Stop him. Be aggressive. You want me to do it for you? You pass. I'll do it for you. You pass, Gregor. Watch out, Gregor. Come on. Come on. Okay? Can you do that? How old are you? You can do it. Ready? You saw? 46. Let's go. Hard on him. Hard. That's it. Good. Good. Okay. Stop. Now, we want to make clear what do we want. We don't want Gregor to score. We don't want him with the ball. We want him to pass the ball. Okay? San is doing a great job. First, when you teach this, first, San did it from the first moment. 
he is playing defense one on one. Let's say he's more or less here. Let's say he wants to send him a little bit to his side, but then he receives the pick and roll. Pick and roll. Okay? First thing he has to be worried if we want to double is we get beat here, we're done. Pick and roll is finished. They killed us. It will be, go ahead, it will be one. No, no, you're there because you were thinking about edge. We're playing four against three. And this guy, maybe five against three. So, first and most important job for Sun, that he did it very well, is Gregor come back. Huh, you see, I'm going to defend, so you tie your shoes, huh? Okay. So, first situation is pick and roll is coming. We make sure he plays the pick and roll. Your footwork has to send him to the pick and roll. You cannot get beat this way. Try to come this way. No. No way. You go back. Okay, you go back. Good. That's another story. But your first option is when you receive, you're going to receive, Pick and roll is coming, you're defending. Okay, you have to change your footwork to cut this lane of penetration. We're going to defend the pick and roll, and we want to attack him. Okay? This is your first job. Very good, that you did it very good. Okay? Let's do it again. Hard. Okay, good. Good. Very good. Stop. Very good. Okay. Uh, kill, kill him. Go after him. Don't worry about him. We want to stop him. Good. Good. Stop. Perfect. We already saw this. Because Gerga did it on the first time. Second job that for me is more important. On this footwork, we're making sure we send him to the pick and roll. Perfect. At the same time, we want to push him out. Okay? We don't want to get stuck here. We change our footwork. We cut this part. We want to send him out. That way, Sam, you have to attack the ball and try to go over. That way, we can bring him out and double him. Okay? But, let's say you receive a good screen. You cannot get your leg going up like this and push. Okay, you get hit, good screen. Then you have to be able to, with this foot, attack and attack. Okay, let's do it one more time. You want to attack the ball, he's going to help you. Good, 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 okay. Very good. San is doing great. Very good. He makes sure that he doesn't get beat on the other side of the screen. He want, we want him to attack the ball. We want him to attack the ball. Okay? And we have to teach him how. Because the easy thing is I attack, I attack the ball. But if I, not, if I don't do it right, if I just go like this, let's say, Gregor, turn around, reverse. Then you can get beat again. And we want to make sure that he goes to that side. Okay? Well, let's talk about big guy defense on this. I think San is doing a great job. We talk about you. Make sure he doesn't go to that side. Make sure he comes to the screen. You fight it over. Good footwork. And you attack the ball. Okay? First, first objective for you. He cannot split you. He cannot split you. You know what I used to tell my big guys when I double? If he tries to split because you're late, let's say you're late. Let's say he's coming from here and you're late. Go ahead. He's faster than you. You're late and you want to double. But there is this. And this can happen. You know what I tell my big guys? Fallen. You cannot get beat here. And I know it's not correct, but you're late. Gergar, open up. 
He wants to beat you here, you follow him. He cannot beat you. Okay? This is the last solution. What do you have to do to don't get a foul? You have to run, be close to the screen as, as much as possible, and with this leg, make sure you cover this. Okay? So don't think, and this is a big mistake by big guys, is, okay, I have to double. So he's going, I'm late. Okay, I just go at him. No. No, because then he will see you, and then he will attack you this way or that way. So the most important one is make sure that with this leg you cover this, and then the, sec the second job is with this leg and with this arm, you attack the ball. That way, when Gregor comes here, Sun is attacking him, you cover this with this leg, you attack like this, and then you can already double. Okay? Let's try to do it. Ready? Go. Good, good, perfect. Very good. One more time. Come a little bit late, just so they see it. Ready? Go. Good, good, okay, good. More or less, okay? How important is, set the pick and roll again, how important this is how we teach this. We know this would be perfect, of course. This would be perfect. But often this is not stupid. So we have to teach our players how to find solutions are the difficulties that the offense is going to give us. Because if it's like a slow pick and roll like this, this is easy. Come here, I come here, we double, we keep him close to the line, everything. But theoretically, it's very good. But how about if he runs and he gets you this advantage? This footwork is very important. Cover this. Attack the ball. That way he goes out, and then we can put pressure on him. Okay? We do it one more time so they see it. Go. Good. Attack him. Okay, good. Okay? And last goal of this defense is same thing. You come. Son, you're doing your job. You attack him. You attack the ball. And then, if you're able to keep him here, better. Because that way, the rest of the guys, they won't be worried about him getting in the middle or anything. Okay? One more time. Good, good, very good. Stop. Stop right there, right there. I'm not talking about what is happening. I know Gerger gives him the ball. Give him the ball. He's open. Okay. But that's not today's chapter. Right now, we, I want this. We set on our defense of the pick and roll, and we want to edge and double. We have to teach the players how to do this. Rotation, all this, that will be for next lecture. Okay? But we have to make sure that with this kind of defense of the pick and roll, we take... We take the ball away from our dangerous player with the ball. We are aggressive. If we want a team to be aggressive, this is an aggressive defense, of course. We're attacking the ball. We're attacking the ball with the own player. We're sending another player. So we're being aggressive. And at the same time, it's true that then on rotations, we, we need to work on our rotation. But what we make sure is this guy is going to be attacked by the defense and we're going to cut. If we do this right, we're going to cut all the things that he create, either score, passing, whatever. We have to attack him. Okay? Okay. This, when we... Sp when we talk about rotations on this, and if we put more guys in here, I don't want to do it. I want to work with these four guys. 
there is two situations. Okay? Double. And rotations. What do we want? We want him to go back to his men, or we want him to go back and recover depend on the rotation. This looks like the big question, but for me, I come back to the beginning. I want him to take the ball out of his hands. We want to double. Forget about what is going to happen. We want to cut him. This is typical question of your players. I know. Okay, I double, but when do I got, when do I come back? This is typical. All players ask this. Okay, I double, but when do I come back? And it's a doubt for us, of course. We have to decide. Because players are going to look for a... Yes, you know, but he passed. Okay. You have to give him a simple question and simple answer. Okay. You double him, try to get the ball, steal it until he passes. Okay. Again. Double. Yes. Good. Good. Stop. Son, I think you, do, you can put more pressure. Okay. One more time. Hey, Gegar, you like Goran Dragic. You like Goran Dragic. What do you think Goran Dragic prefers? Pass the ball like that or a score? Score. Come on, go ahead. Try to score on them. That's it. Good. Very good. Great. You stop the play. You stop the play. Okay? One more time. Perfect. Ready? Good. Oh, okay. Okay? What I tell my players, I said, if we want to double, we double until he gets the ball out of his hands. We want to cut this his game. So, when we want to edge, for me, there is a difference between edging and doubling and staying here or edging and recovering. That would be the second part. The second situation, how do we want to defend the pick and roll? But they're different. It, for me, it's very different than, what's your name? Harris. Harris? Aris does this job well, and he keeps going after Gergert, then try to stop him and come back. This is different defense. Do it. Screen. I do my work. I come out, attack the ball, and recover. This is different defense. This is different, completely different. You don't, when you get both guys against Gergats, come out here. You want to make sure you stop him. But if uh, Harris stops, I mean shows, heads, heads, and recover, here things change. Okay? So San shows again. San, he helps you with the heads. We're doing the same job. Stop him, attack the ball. But then your footwork cannot be aggressive against him because he's going to double you. Now you have to recover your position. Okay, so come back, edge. Okay, first option, we got this, same job. Let's say you get hit, you attack him like this. Edge, recover, then you have to fight to get in front to stop the pick and roll. Okay? Let's work on this. Edge, stop the ball. Son, you have to fight through, like we said, cut that part. Okay? And then try to stay in front of him. Go. 
Good, good. Okay, good. Stop. Perfect. More or less. More or less perfect. For me, this is two different ways of defending the pigment. We want uh, Harris to stop the ball, okay, to attack the ball. But how different is Aris to really attack this guy and double him? Or just stop him and then you recover and try to go one on one here? Okay? Good. I'll go with the question, I'll do the question for you. We said about doubling, first way to defend it. Second way, edge and recover, okay? Screen, edge, recover. Okay, let's say I'm sitting there. How about Sun going under? Why not? Why not? But it's different, because then Sun has to have different footwork, okay? So Sun now, same until you get hit. Edge, but then you want to go under. Okay? Let me see how you do it. Ready? Good, good. Okay, good. Do it one more time. Very good, son. Ready? Good, good. Okay, stop. Uh, Harris, I think you're doing too much. You're doubling too much now. Now I want, we want you to stop him and come back, okay? My fault. One more time. Ready? Go. That's him. Good. Come back. Very good. Okay? Harris did it perfect. Harris did it perfect. He show up, stop him, get him back, and come back. Harris, you would have done more than perfect if when you come back to your man, you put your hands up. Okay? Son, under. Okay? Ready, go. Attack him, good, come back. That's it. Okay? Good. Let's do it one more time. Okay, son. I'm talking about you now. First thing, make sure he doesn't beat you here. Because Gerger now, he's been too good with you. If you wanted to one time, he could have come here. Okay, but it's okay. You make sure this, okay? You know he's going to edge, but then you have to go under. You know what's the problem of trying to go under? We forget about this footwork. Usually when we want to go under, the big mistake is, okay, I'm going under. So, pick and roll starts, and I go like this. Because I want to go under. Normal. I said, well, why do I have to attack the ball? I'm going under. I help him. Because that way, he gets me flat. And when I try to go under, then he's rolling. Roll to the basket. To the basket. And then, all the space, and he brings you down here. So for me, it's important that when Greg, Gregor starts to play the pick and roll, you attack him. That way, he has to make sure, he has to make sure that screens you, okay? And then you can attack him under. And, and, get away from him, okay? You cannot get, you cannot get screened by him, turn around. Turn around and defend. Turn, turn around and go and get him, by him, okay? So you have to attack the ball, attack the ball, come under, and then make sure that like this, you get out of him. And go one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Let's do it one more time. Ready? Go. Good, good. Come back, okay. We'll go on. But, we started with the double. We're talking about the edge. And we give two options to the defender of the ball. Going over going under, okay? Why on this I give more responsibility to the player of the ball? More decision, let's say. 
more decision. For example, on reading. Because Harris is doing a hard job going out, trying to stop a faster guy than him, let's say. And then you have to help him. And the best help is make his job easier. So that way, you are the one who has to get away from Aris and look for him. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go on. Just think about a defense that what you really want out of your defense is send the offense to one side. We want to keep the ball on one side. We want to make sure that they're going to stay on one side of the floor. Okay? Let's say we want to keep our big guys inside. We don't have quick big, guy, uh, quick big guys. We don't want them to come out too, mu too much. So we want defense to keep the ball on one side and try to send the offense to our big guys. Okay? Uh, son, come here. You're defending the ball. Good, good. And pick and roll comes. Okay, we change our footwork, and then you keep him on the side, and you play fondo. In Spanish, it's fondo. How, we, how you call this in English? Fondo, more or less. Keep him on the side. Okay? Coaches, some of coaches call them blue or whatever. This kind of defense. Okay? What do we want out of the defense? I said, keep the ball on one side of the floor. Keep the ball on one side of the floor. Keep our big guys close to the basket. And try our, the dribblers to come against our big guys. Okay? We do it like this. Fondo, baseline, send in, base, send in baseline. Go. Fondo, good. Very good. Okay, one more time. Very good. One more time. Good, son. Very good. One more time. Good, good, good. Okay, one more time. Okay, Aris, let's put it this way. Okay, you were doing very aggressive defense there. You are resting on this defense. For me, change the way I defend the pick and roll doesn't change the effort that you have to put with it. Okay, so you play, for me, easier. But that doesn't mean that you don't play defense. Okay? Good. One more time. Fondo. Good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Come back, come, come back to the starting position. Gergard with the ball. Gergard is happy today. Only defense, huh? Only offense. Good. Okay. Technique. San, he wants to make, he has to make sure that Gerger is going to play to the side. His footwork was good. Instead of playing one-on-one -on -one send like this, he changed his footwork and he, skip, he applied him, he made him come to the side. Okay? That way, if he wants to screen me, he has to change the screen. There is no screen possible to the middle. If he wants to go to the middle, go to the middle. He's going eight meters. And if we really want to keep him here, you almost cannot let him go to the middle. This is not very clear because we give him this side. But like this, we're sending him here. San is doing a very good job. Okay? Good. Aris, I know you're a big guy, but this... Set the screen. This is nothing. Okay? Defending the pick and roll means you have to be close to the screen. Because if you let Gergats come here against you, then he's going to beat you. Either here or here. 
so you have to be close to the screen. Position is not bad, but it cannot be that, many, that much distance. Because for me, this is two on one. Okay? We're talking about pick and roll defense, you have to be close. Position is good, but closer to the screen. Okay? One more time. Okay, Fondo, good. Better. Okay. Very good. One more time. Okay. Um, Aris is doing it pretty good. But the, the, my correction, it was as simple as, this is pick and roll defense. No? If Aris is not close to the screen, he's going to change the screen. If he's here, this is two against one. So Aris needs to get involved on this, and he has to be close. Okay? To the screen. Perfect. And your position was good. Okay? Stop right there. Stop, stop right there. Defensive position. Gergach is there. He's smart. He switched the screen. Okay? And this position is good. We're cutting the lane to the basket. San is going to attack the ball because he's going to recover to his men. Come back again, please. Aris, how if he wants to go to the middle? What was our principle on double team? You can follow him. Okay? Because we want to keep him on the side. You cannot let Gergach beat you here. It's the same as if we double and he goes from the middle to the middle. Okay? So make sure that you're on distance where if he attacks you, he cannot beat you to the middle. We want to cut the middle. We want to send them to one side of the floor. Okay? So make sure that maybe arm distance for you can be okay. That way, he will see this, and then it's one-on-one -on -one defense. Okay? Good. Let's do it one more time. Go. Good. Fondo. Very good. Okay, stop. Aris. Ar uh, Aris. You can foul Gergats. He cannot go to the middle. He cannot go to the middle. Okay? Good. Okay? Come back. When we talk about the technique, we make clear what they want, what we want on this defense. We want the ball to, we want the, the, the ball to stay on, the, on one side of the floor. Okay? So when pick and roll starts, we want to keep the ball on the side. But the techniques are pretty, pretty much the same. Okay? So, son, you get screen here. If you are able to fight the screen, try to get in front. Don't just think you got screen and you, you're dead. Screen, same technique. Let's say he beats you here. Then you attack. And then you try to get in front. Don't, you, you just don't go behind. No, behind you're not doing anything. Try to get in front. Fight to get in front. That will, that, you, it will help Paris. Okay? Same technique that we were talking about when we talked about edge, about edge or when we talked about double. Okay? Good. Baseline, good. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Very good. So we talked about etching, doubling with the edge. We talked about etching and recover. We said there is two options for the guy with the, the defender of the, of the ball. He can go over. He can go under. How about if... Um, how about if Gerga is a great shooter? But you have a big guy that you don't want to chase this or double, and you don't want to play fun, uh, baseline because you're giving him open space to shoot the ball, okay? So now, you try to shoot as whenever you you can, okay? But you cannot go out. You play behind, Fondo or whatever. You can screen him, okay? 
Try to sh make, make, make a shot, okay? Okay, one more. Good. Sam, don't follow him. That's three-point shots. Don't follow him. Good, good, guys. Try to shoot the ball. Either way, you have all the space for you. One more. One more. He's a three-point shooter. You have to stop him. He's, a, I don't know, great shooter. Great shooter. Okay, good. Better, son. Usually, good shooters, they play the pick and roll to create, create space for his shot. And for me, Sam was doing one mistake. Give him the ball. I know he wants to shoot the ball. Wait, I'll call from the screen. No? So you're on him. Let's say you have J.C. Carroll, whoever, Navarro. He wants to shoot the ball. You cannot be going like this, thinking where the pick and roll is coming. You cannot be worried about the screen. Because if you're worried about the screen, in the moment you try to change your footwork, then he will attack you to stop and shoot the ball. You're giving him space to create his shot. Okay? So, son, just think about attacking. Okay? That way, forget about screen. You fight over the screen. Screen me. I'm here. Okay? Good. Good. And chase him. Chase him all the way. Make him go to the two-point area. He's a three-point shooter. Okay? Try to shoot. Okay, you have all the time, all the time you want. You can play one, two, three, four picks. Okay? Good. Good. Oh, stop. Put more pressure on him, son. You can put more pressure. And don't think where he's going. You're going after him. Make him easy. Make him drive. Make him drive. Oh, good, good, okay? Okay, what do we want out of this defense? Put a lot of pressure on the guy with the ball. We want this guy to go inside. For example, end of the game. The teams want to play pick and roll, they want to shoot threes. I go crazy when, when, when they took threes. And there is a player who does this very good. But if you are able to put him on the two-point area, it changes. Let's say Spanulis wants to shoot a three. Somehow, you have to, your, your objective is put him on the two-point area. That way, when Gergard starts attacking, you don't care if he comes inside. Let's say you have big guys. You want to cut his shooting. Okay. In and out, stop. Okay? So he's in, out. You don't mind. You're here. Go in. Okay? That's defense against guys who want to shoot the ball. Okay? Good. Okay. Um, on this kind of defense with this kind of players, it's very... Difficult to play either fondo or double. We need our big guys to stay back. Okay? Because we want to put them on the two-point area. Okay? And same thing. We don't want him to get away from the screen. We want him to be close, knowing that San is pushing him to the two-point area. Okay, so let's say Sander Gegert gets in the two-point area. You know he's a shooter. And then it's where here you have to start playing defense. Okay? Play as many times you want with the ball. You're the star of the team. He wants to shoot threes. Oh, too easy. Sand, you're looking to the screen. Don't look at the screen. Look at Gergert. Go after Gergert. Don't worry. Don't worry where the screen comes. You go over the top. Okay? One more time. Over the top. Good. Very good. Again. Again. That's it. 
That's it. Harder, harder. That's it. Good. Okay? For me, this is, in modern basketball, a way of changing how to attack the pick and roll. Because we're forcing him to two things. First, we cut his three-point shooting. We make him go inside and create something with the penetration. And we put a lot of pressure with our small guys, with our defenders of the ball, and we keep our big guys inside. Okay? Good. Let's talk about the most conservative pick and roll defense. Okay. Uh, Sam, you go under, you let him space, and just play it. Okay? Son, you, you, go, you go under, and you don't show. Okay? Go ahead. Good. Stop. Don't help Sam too much. He's going under. It's his responsibility. You worry about him. Okay? Good. Okay. One more time. Good. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, sometimes basketball brings you to the normal things. What I have here is normally, normally the guy with the ball will shoot. Okay? This is the most conservative one. Sometimes coaches, we think, okay, this is not defense. Problem is not defense. But do they want to play this pick and roll? Maybe there is a pick and roll that they don't want to play. This Lithuanian offense that uh, they change. Slovenia plays it. A lot of teams play it. Pick and roll, pass, pick and roll, pass, pick and roll, pass. And they play six pick and rolls on 24-second offense. From side to side, receive, swing, pick and roll, receive, swing. Sometimes, you, if you're smart, you said, okay, what are they going to do with the thir first three pick and rolls? Why, you, why waste of energy of doubling the first one? Be aggressive on the first one. They don't want to play. They only want to create advantage. Okay? Technique here is easier, of course. Because what we want, son, is okay, you did it very good. You know you're going to come behind, so you attack him to get space. He's going to leave you space. You're going to come under. Try to control the penetration so he doesn't create anything. For you, Ari, it's the same. You're behind, you leave him space, you go under, and you control the roller. Go inside, you're here, you're okay. Okay? Let's say if he goes to the side, pop, pop, no, go under. Under, pop, again, you're here always in control. Okay? Let's do it one more time. Go ahead. Good. Okay. Okay. Why not? Another thing that I write here when I explain these defenses, with this defense, you don't involve the rest of the defense. You don't have to think about rotation. You don't have to think. They're controlling their men. They're really controlling their men. We're giving them something. We're giving him, he was shooting all the time. Okay? But we're giving, we're giving them something. Okay? Good. <clears throat> okay. How about if the biggest threat, how about if the biggest threat of the pick and roll, it's, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Name? Luca. Luca. I didn't talk to Luca in the whole morning. He was only setting screens, setting screens. Okay, how about if Luca is the good player? He's the one they want to find. 
He's Kriapa, Mirotic. He's the one who is good, who wants to get this. Aris, help a little bit. Oops. Here, open. Score. Come on, Luca. One again. One, uh, one more. How about if he's so smart that he sees baseline, baseline defense uh, side. He's so smart that he goes boom, boom, and he's a good shooter too. How about if he's good on edge? He sees this, and before the screen he leaves. How about if the good player is Luca? We want to stop Luca. We have to cut Luca. Luca cannot play. Okay? Okay, Aris? Look for Luca now. Any kind of defense you want. Okay? Come on, Luca. Good. Okay, he won. Again. Again. Good. We have to control Luca. Luca is good. Okay? Give the ball to Gerga. Try this. You always with Luca. You're married to Luca. Luca is great. Okay? Push Luca and you go with him. Okay? Luca, screen and go wherever you want. Again, screen. Do whatever you want. You go with Luca. Forget about everything. You push Luca. Okay? Don't foul him, but you're with him. Okay? Push him. Oh, stop, 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 stop. You're looking at Gergats. Gergats is not already good. Gergats now is. I'm sorry, Gergats. Your talent has declined. Okay? Now the good, the good one is Luca. Okay? Good. Oh. Good. Okay. Very good. Well, it was a little bit unreal. But we want to control Luca. Okay? So, our defense with Luca is we want to get him out of the play. We want to make contact with him. That doesn't mean foul, because a lot of players. When you explain this, he goes, you want me to follow him? No, I want you to be with him. Luca, go. You go with him. Why not? Okay? Try to roll. Roll to the basket. Roll, go to the basket, to the basket. You're always with him. Okay? Let's do it one more time. Good. Good. Okay, stop. We don't need to see anymore. We want to cut Luca's game. Okay? So, Aris was doing it very good. You push him. You don't follow him. You stay close to him. Okay? You don't let him call, uh, roll. If he wants to roll inside, roll inside, you're with him. If he wants to roll outside, Screen and roll outside to the corner. You're with him. Okay? Do it one more time. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Stop. Of course, uh, go to the corner. Luca was here. He, they play the pick and roll. Now, let's say he opens up, then, no, open up like this to receive. Then you go to a regular defense, Sans defense. Different. But this is not pick and roll. Give him again. Go on screen. Go on screen. Again. Okay? This defense is very good if you want to control the guy who screens. Okay, a lot of times we think about how good is this guy on the pick and roll, how good is Spanulis, how good is Sergio Rodriguez. How... For me, sometimes 
is more important the guy who is setting the screen. We never talk about the guy setting the screen. When I see players saying, okay, who, why Spanulis is so good playing the pick and roll? Maybe because the guy who's setting the screen is very good. Screening, rolling, open up in space, reading if they have to go to one position or another position. This kind of skiffing cuts away, cuts away his creation of the game, his rolling, everything. We want to control the guy who's screening. Okay? Of course, on this, like on every defense, we're giving some. Set the screen, Aris, push him. Sun has to take a decision because you make one screen almost a double screen. It's more space for him to decide. If he goes over the top, then it's going to be no help by the big guy. Big guy is worried about the screener. If he goes under, it's difficult because he's not only under one, he's under two. Okay? So the risk of this defense is, at the end, usually, Gergard is going to have the ball. Okay? But, when you play that, screen and push. Go under. Stop. This is the moment where Gergard can get advantage. Okay? How about if Aris goes like this? Okay, push, but don't forget the pick and roll. You're pushing, Gergats comes, like this, just to make sure he don't see the basket. If you're like this, okay, you're like a wall here. But if you're able to go like this, then you help him, okay? Do it one more time. Put your hand up, that's it, good, again. Do it again, screen, under, oh, stop, stop, stop. You see the difference? Aris now showed. That way Luca was getting open. No, we want Luca not to receive. Forget about this. I'll do it for you. We'll do it slow. Start from there. Push like this, and you go under. But you don't forget the roller, okay? Just as a detail. Do it one more time. Good. Good. Put your hand up. Okay. Uh, Aris, you could have put the, the other hand up, okay? Okay. Last one. Switch. You can switch. Okay? You play pick and roll, you guys switch. Okay? Okay? Switch. That's it. Good. One more time. Gergach, play it with more time. Bring him out. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Switching. Switching got one good thing. You're going to have, after the pick and roll, the players in front of you. If you switch, you're flat, switch, shouldn't be penetration here if we do it correctly. Okay, come back. If you switch, okay, you receive him, shouldn't be penetration. If Sun does his job good, technically good, he's here, he sees the screen, switch, cut the continuation, come. We're, in, I mean, we keep him in front of us. That doesn't mean that Luca is going to take me here. We know. That, but this is another thing. This is not pick and roll. This is another thing. This is a mismatch. But this is not pick and roll. So with the switching, you are able to keep the players in front of you. 
I put it two ways. Using switches a lot on a way is a little bit of a song. Finally, it's a song. Because then teams, what they do is they switch. Okay, go ahead. Switch. Okay. Aris, you defend him. So offense is smart. Luca goes inside. And what teams usually do? Okay, there is another big guy here. So I go, son. So they switch. And everybody switch. So it's a little bit of a cover zone. Cover zone. We try to keep the guys in front of us, control them, cut penetrations, and make sure they play uh, outside the lane. Okay? Okay. I make another question before I tell you to ask me. Handoff. Handoff for me is a pick and roll. Handoff is pick and roll. For defense and for offense. So, any handoff situation has to be, uh, has to be uh, defended the way you said it, but don't go crazy with the handoff. Luca, get the ball. Gergat fakes. Handoff. This is a pick and roll. Okay? You want to go, let's say you want to push. Luca is good. Go under. Come back. Come back. Let's say you want to double. Get it? Over the top. Double. Okay? Luca again. Receive it. You want to go under, let him space, you as a four. Under. Let's say you want to go side. Look, I receive it. Receive it. You can go here and try to stop this. That way, he has to come here to receive and you cut the handoff. Okay? So for me, don't go crazy with the handoff. Handoff if it's a pick and roll defense. Handoff has one problem. Luca, receive. I'm, I'm, I'm you. I'm with your guys. Play. Defend, normal. Come and do a, however you want. This is not hand, this is not pick and roll. If you get on this situation where the ball is not on Gerga's hand. It's still one-on-one. -on -one. And that's a little bit different. Because if we saw the other day, I think Gasol had a basket like this. Somebody curl, curl, show to help, help. He went like this. Hand off. It's a pick and roll when the outside guy has the ball. But I keep the same rules with the handoff that when the rest... Uh, that with uh, any other pick and roll. As I resume, uh, what I said at the beginning, what is your philosophy of how to defend a pick and roll? Different ways. The technique of, you, of using it and making sure of what do the offense wants to get out of that pick and roll. Okay? Do they want to score? Do they want to create a mismatch? Do they want to play an entrance for the offense? Or they just want to move you around and create advantage somehow. After that, your decision. Adjust to what do you want. You want to be aggressive. You want to double. You want to edge and recover. You want to switch. It will depend on, uh, on your players, on your team, on your philosophy. Okay? But for me, what is hard is we show the players everything and we go, okay, one day we'll go this, one day we'll go this, one day we'll go this. Because at the end, you won't play no defense. You will play, all, all the guys will go like, oh, today is Fondo, today is Double, today. You have to work on, do one thing and do it right. Okay? 
Well, that's more or less. I think I'm a little bit out of time. So if you have uh, any questions, I'm happy to answer. And I always have a Octai sensor. If they're very good on the pick and roll, we go soon. <laughs> okay? Oh, I have a question. Everybody, coach, we know uh, footwork is very important in basketball, but uh, can you explain us uh, how we can use, how we can learn the player in the pick and roll part, special the big guy to, to protect the split? The split? How, yeah, how we can use the, the arms. Yes, the arms. okay. Uh, Luca and um, Aris, Gergats and San. I learned the names, great. Quick. <clears throat> Look, when we talk about pick and roll defense and you're talking about footwork, it's true. We're a little bit in our heads all the time thinking about footwork, speed, move our legs. How about if a guy can do all that working with the same principles, but using his hands. If Gergas tries to come here and then he's able to go like this, maybe this, it will help him more than all this. Okay? So if he wants to attack the ball, how important is after footwork, make sure that you attack the ball. Okay? The problem a lot of times is when we want to attack the ball to smaller guys, sometimes we go like this. And this is 100% foul. He's going to be smart. He sees this, attack, this is a foul. How about if you try to go like this? Because if you go from up, down, he's going to be smart. He's going to run into you. Gergats come. You're going to go like this. This is a foul. And then the reaction, you know how it's going to be. No, 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 I was here, blah, blah, blah. Foul. Smart player, this is foul. And refs call foul. But if you go like this and you show this hand like this, low, it's difficult for him to look for my body because I'm attacking the ball. Do it again. It's not the same this than this. Okay? Good. On the, on the recover, same thing. Let's say you're here. Okay, recover. If you come back like this, remember I told Aris, use your hands. You remember back in the days I coached in Valencia, uh, Oberto. Remember Fabricio Oberto from Argentina. He was great because this. His footwork was very good. But then he used his hand very good. He attacked the ball here. Then he knew he was going to get it. He used to go like this. How important is to use the arms? It will help your footwork. Okay? And how important is big guys don't use it from up and under. Try to keep it low. That way you can cut. That way he's going to look for your body. If you go like this, you're going to get the body into him. If you're able to go under, it's difficult for him to look for your body. Okay? Thank you. Any other questions? When I'm a little bit out of time. Okay, uh, guys, thank you a lot. It was a pleasure for me being here. And I really appreciate your attention.